Hello there, my name's Ewan and I am an astronomy addict. I've shown you the review of the 80 by 600 telescope behind me and explained why I'm buying that rather than buying this. A much nicer, far better, far superior 80 by 400 F5 telescope. Both of them have been loaned to me by 365 Astronomy so that I could test them and see which of the two I wanted to buy. It was very kind of Zoltan to let me do that. Um, it, I couldn't ask for anything nicer than, than to be loaned two telescopes to play with. Uh, and this has been a joy to use. It's beautiful, it's tiny, it's tidy. I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to buy that? Me. If you look at this scope, you can see that the optics are beautifully clear. It's fully multi-coated. As you can see, it says on there, F5, the focuser is again like the uh, 80 by 600 it is a dual speed Crayford focuser. Also like the 80 by 600 the focuser is two inch and one and a quarter inch both of them fitted with the brass compression rings and again neither of them have the uh, T2 thread for attaching your camera that's not a problem because I've got the adapter anyway and also if you think about it a lot of cameras automatically come with the uh, the smaller nose piece to go into a one and a quarter inch eyepiece anyway so it wasn't a big deal. Something that this scope has that the 800 by 600 doesn't have is a shoe for a finder scope. So I can use my uh, my little finder just on its small dovetail in here. Uh, so I can still find and guide with this and my smaller scope. I love it. I, I really, really, really love this telescope. The views through it are fantastic. The photographs that you can get through it, what I've got so far has been very, very, very good compared to what I was expecting. I'm not going to show you them because I think I can do better. It's it, there isn't a problem with the scope, there's a problem with me and my ability. So I'm going to try again on the photographs tonight or tomorrow night and hopefully I'll be able to add those into the video before the end of uh, this review. The thing is, is that this is more telescope than I need. It is far better than my ability at the moment. I haven't been doing uh, astrophotography and such for very long and I'm looking for a, a scope that was different to something I already have. I already have an f5 refractor so I don't need another one. I don't have an f7.5. I do now because I'm buying that one but if I was going purely for which telescope was the better quality, had the better feel to it, had the the almost the 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 the, the showy offiness that you want from your telescopes for showing to other people. I would have gone for this one. But as I said, it's more than I need. So I'm not gonna buy it. I'm buying that other one. And I wish I could afford both, because if I could I would certainly have both. Hopefully I'll be able to add some images to this review. I will post this up straight away anyway, just so that everyone can see what a fantastic little scope this is. It's it, 
I think it's on uh, it's, it's retail price is something like 250 pounds um, I will have to check it's worth every penny uh, I, 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 I can't say anything else it is worth every single penny and oh my do I wish I could afford and justify having both telescopes anyone gonna loan me some money